intro for you guys. As you know, I've been working on rebranding this channel and just giving it a really good image. So I hope you can stick around and subscribe if you aren't already. My name is Amy and I'm about to be doing a 24th birthday haul for you guys today. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking onto this video. I do hope you enjoy it and want to stick around. So everybody, I am now 24 and what happens every year? We always do a birthday haul. I love showing you guys what I very generously get given and I absolutely love making these sort of milestone videos just from my reference and this year obviously my birthday was a little bit different as we can all imagine. I totally made the most of it and there was going to be a vlog on this, either it's already uploaded or it will be uploaded. If that video is up I will link it in the description box down below. The vlog was so so lovely and if you haven't already seen how I made my birthday very very different. Um, that video will also be linked in the description. I ended up making a cuddle curtain and if you don't know what that is, just click the video down below because it was a pretty amazing experience where I got to hug my grandparents after this three months of lockdown and of course I did it in a very safe way. So go and see how I done that if you haven't seen that video already linked in the description box. So anyway, into what I actually got because I know that's what you guys are here for. So I'm just going to pick out kind of random things of what I got. I was absolutely spoiled this year, can I say, first and foremostly by my boyfriend. I, I cannot, I cannot actually believe what he gave me and just the thought that went into things. It's just amazing. So first of all, thank you to obviously everybody, but Andy especially. I was overwhelmed with what he got me this year. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna start with, just because it's the biggest one that I've got here, from my nan, sorry, I've got like a really itchy nose. Mm. From my nan and gramp, they actually got me, now funny story, I sent them a pair of trainers that I wanted. Turns out my nan ordered them, they came, and they were about a size that big. They were for children, I didn't even realize. So she ended up giving me the money for those, so that was meant to be a present. I'm gonna look for another pair of trainers that I quite like and just spend it on that. They were just some Adidas um, superstars, I think they were, but they had lovely holographic lines, but they were only kids, and it's really annoying. So I'm gonna, she gave me the money for that, and that's gonna be a present I will replace. I just have haven't done it yet and then she also got me or I say she it's my nana and my grump apologies grump got me this Tommy Hilfiger or I can't remember what it is Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger Tommy Hilfiger I'm not sure backpack and this is so oh here we go Tommy Hilfiger X Rossigano ski collection and it is this beautiful white like yeah like ski coat um backpack the inside is obviously all navy lined it's all of the um, Tommy colors. I love Tommy Hilfiger. It's a really nice brand. This is just a, a bag that she managed to get online I think on the Tommy website because the box that I've got here there's a huge box and it's an official Tommy box So I think she got it on the website. It's got a nice little front pocket. It's got the backs What I like about it is it's not too big. It's not one of those super bulky backpacks I just can't anymore. Those backpacks just remind me of school and then yeah It's just got a little compartment inside and I thought this would be really good because I'm really into walking Me and Andy walk every Sunday I was gonna say without fail but providing the weather is okay so we walk every Sunday and go for like long 10 to 13 14 kilometer walks and although I don't like bringing a backpack we are planning on trying to do longer walks so we can take picnics and like this is what I need and quite frankly I just don't have a nice backpack she also then got me something I have asked for and this is the Deborah Meaden common sense rules book or like it's not an autobiography, it's just a, a book from Deborah Meaden. I think it was ghost written. I'm not too sure actually, I don't know. Are they supposed to disclose these things? I don't know. Anyway, I've got through chapter one and I already absolutely love this. I am obsessed with Dragon's Den. I don't know who isn't. It is one of the most awesome, inspiring, realistic, I don't know, pro like just one of the most, the best programs I think. I can binge watch it over and over and all the innovative ideas, you know like when you watch a pitch and you think wow that's so good and then all of a sudden one of the dragons is like but what about this, but what about that and you think oh my gosh yeah and I just love learning from all of them um, but Deborah Meaden especially, I really look up to her. Her story of how she was self-made in her business and how she become an entrepreneur is just really awesome and I've always known her story but I don't know it so this story looks into 
or it's a little bit of an autobiography along with her sort of saying about the different pitches throughout Dragon's Den that she thought was outstanding and what made them an amazing successful entrepreneur. It talks about her good amazing investments and her bad investments and what makes them both and I'm really into business like I want to have my own business and I will have my own business and or businesses I don't know <laughs> I just really wanted this book and she thinks she's got two two other books about this but I'm gonna work my way through this because I'm not necessarily a reader I'm a little bit well I am dyslexic so I'm a lot more of a visual kinesthetic learner than like reading you know sometimes the words on the page it takes me quite a while to read a page just because black and white just my brain doesn't digest it as quickly as some other people can. The other thing that my nan and grand got me, it wasn't necessarily a present, but I got a card this year, and I'm sure we've all seen it, but this is the card. And it's called a Boomph card. If you've never heard of Boomph, I mean, they had a huge marketing campaign, but I did not know what it was when she gave it to me, but mum managed to take a video of me opening this card and basically it explodes in your face, this box thing. So insert clip here for your entertainment. Wonder what? That rip here. The other way, I think. Oh, it says wide open. It rip be here. Like, I yeah. guess that means that. Oh. Oh. Didn't work. <laughs> it doesn't. Um... Oh, it didn't work. Oh. You're supposed to rip it slowly. No, no, it doesn't say Britney. Oh! <laughs> 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 that so yeah, at that point when I was opening it, I was like, oh, I know what this is, but I was like, it's broken and didn't realise that they actually come out into a box. Uh, and it's really cute because like it's the, the message is on top. And then you've got just like pictures you can choose around the outside, which I thought was really cool. And it obviously just like has this little spring in it that popped out. So <laughs> it was really fun and I loved that. The next things that I want to show you is I got a lovely little phone case from Steph, which actually is on my phone right now. And this is from Skinny Dip, which you can get at Topshop. I know she got this one online uh, and it's a bunch of jellyfish. And she didn't get me the pop socket. I got that this weekend, but I really, I just can't live without my pop socket. So I got this water falling pop socket from Home Bargains, Home Bargains, Home Sense the other day. And yeah, it was 4 99 but I just thought it went really well with the case because I just can't do without a pop socket. I've come to learn that I need one. I know this is not a pop socket, but a, a ring hook, pop socket, whatever. And then, bless her, she's so thoughtful. She knows I've been doing gel nails. I haven't got any on at the moment because I haven't had time to do them. But she got me this really nice My Gel colour um, and it's just like a really nice pale, mauve purpley pink. From my parents, I got a few little bits, and one thing is, to start with, this gym set right here, and it is basically just a, well, a normal gym set that looks like this, very Gymshark inspired. Now, I was going to put a couple of Gymshark, um, I've always wanted a Gymshark set that's like this, like a matching, long-sleeved, proper, you know, Instagram-y looking gym set. I just cannot bring myself to be paying like £35, £45 for a pair of leggings and then like £35 for a pair of top. You're looking at nearly £100 for a set of gym, gym wear. I, I have owned Gymshark, I own Gymshark things and I must admit the quality is brilliant and they do wash well, they last well, but I just can't buy them full price. Everything I've got from Gymshark I'm pretty sure I've bought on their like blackout sale times. Anyway, I found this set on eBay. It was £29, so it's not like the cheapest, but it's very cheap for what it is. And it comes in lots of different colours, so I chose this, um, like, what's it called? This, like, orangey, red, fiery print. And I must admit, I have to report, it's very, very good. It is definitely see-through-ish. Uh, the bottoms around the bum, you can see through. When I've worn this, I was wearing black underwear. I'll insert a picture of me here wearing the full set. I did put it on my Instagram as well. Shameless plug, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then boom, here's my Instagram. I would love if you could join me over there. I'm also trying to build that up quite a lot. But it is a little bit see-through when it's stretched, but I did have black underwear on. So I think, to be honest, if you wore this with like a nude pair of underwear or nude thong, you'd absolutely get away with it. 
Okay, then from my parents, my main gift, which I have been obsessed with these. If you again follow me on Instagram, you would have, and you remember, like two years ago, a year ago, whatever, I've seen this pair of shoes in shoe, and I put a poll out on Instagram that I was like, oh my gosh, these are so weird. I kind of love them. Do you guys love them? And loads of people, like the overall poll was a yes, but it was very divided because they're very different looking shoes. But I wear my Ugg boots so much. And then I seen Ugg came out with these, which are called, oh, take out the order confirmation a minute. Ugg come out with these, which are called the fluff, yeah, fluff, yeah, slippers. Uh, the thing is, I'm a little bit confused. If anybody owns these, are they actually slippers or can you wear them out? Because they have a proper sole, so like you, technically could wear them out. I know around the edges, like you wouldn't want to wear them in water, obviously you shouldn't wear any Uggs in water, but like there's a proper sole and I kind of wanted, like I plan to wear these out. Uh, and I know the design is so straight. Some people are not gonna understand this design whatsoever. You've got the cap toe here. You've got the Ugg around the back. I just absolutely know I'm gonna wear the hell out of these in like the autumn, summer, springtime. Cause like Uggs, you, I can only really wear in autumn, winter, the boots, but I'm obsessed with them. And these are so comfy. They are also like gold dust to find. This in like six, seven, UK sizes six, seven are like gold gold dust. I don't know what has happened. I think they're older season now, but mum had to search the internet for these and she managed to find them. I literally wrote them off. I was like, don't worry about it. You won't find it. She managed to find them and I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> I then just had to run downstairs because I forgot and I don't know why the box isn't here either. But also from mum and dad, I got another pair of shoes. Again, pair of shoes I've already worn the hell out of, hence why I had to run downstairs to get them. But I finally have another pair of Havianas. So come summer, obviously now that's meant to be summer and eventually, hopefully when holidays can resume, I now have a very decent pair of black flip-flops. I always, always just buy a black pair from Misguided or Primark and I literally wear them that whole summer, wear them out to hell, throw them away, do it again the next year. I know that's absolutely fine to do, but like these are absolutely stunning. They've got the glitter all around the edge and then they've got the glitter obviously on the thong bits. And I absolutely love them. I've already worn these walking into town. To be fair, I did probably wear too much out of them and I had to wash them and everything. But these in the light, like in the sunlight, they twinkle as well. It's so beautiful. I am so happy I got these. I am obsessed with them. And there's a zero doubt that I'm going to wear the hell out of them. I also just want to say a big thank you to my nan and granddad as well because they gave me money for my birthday. My nan and granddad of course are in the vulnerable category, they're older and they couldn't go out at all during lockdown so of course I wouldn't have ever expected anything from them anyway but it, you know they still gave me some money so I really want to mention it and say a big thank you to them as well for that and I'll definitely get something nice and I'll let them know what I bought so that it's essentially exactly the same as them buying it for me. So thank you nan and granddad. Kind of not a birthday present, I bought this for myself, but I wanted to show you anyway. Went to HomeSense for the first time on last week, last weekend, and I ended up buying myself this candle, because I was just like, do you know what, I just want to buy stuff. Like, I just want to buy it. So I ended up buying this um, Tangle Teaser thing as well for my hair, because I needed a new one. And then I bought this candle, which is a mason jar candle. And it literally smells exactly the same as the Stress Relief from Bath & Body Works, if not, a little bit better to be honest. As you can tell, I like my candles. I'm constantly burning through them. I think this was $7.99 and it's beautiful and I love the illustration of the eucalyptus on the front. I also got from my mum's friend Karen and Robin, my mum's and dad's friends Karen and Robin, a sweat towel and a matching water bottle, one litre sort of looking water bottle that looks exactly like this one. But this is two litres so an orange one liter one, which I've actually been taking, again, it's down in the kitchen because I've been taking it walking. So I've got that and that and a packet of Maltesers, which I've already um, been slowly working my way through on my own, not sharing them whatsoever. Uh, and I like, I said, like I said to her, like, I like your style, you know, work out here and chocolate. Definitely my type of woman. Also forgot, got me a papaya and coconut little um, glass candle. It's the same as that one over there. They're both from Karen and Robin. So thank you very much. Oh, 
completely forgot as well on the candle front, Steph, who got me the nail varnish and the phone case, also got me Bath and Body Works Tiki Beach. This from White Barn, sorry, not Bath and Body Works, essentially the same thing. This smells like the Caribbean islands, white sands, clear waters. You just gotta shut your eyes and pretend you're there. She actually got this for me when she went to Tampa uh, in January. Is it Tampa, 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 Tampa? She also went to Nashville. Um, apologies to all the Amer Americans for me saying that the wrong way. I think it's Tampa, that's what she was saying. Uh, but when she went over there, she ended up getting me this. Um, I knew about it, but it's, it's a birthday present because she bought it for me, so. Oh, it smells unreal. Okay, I think we're just moving on to the last things now, which were from my boyfriend, Andy. So, <laughs> you can tell people know I like my candles because Andy got me a Yankee candle, rainbow flowers candle. Now, I was a bit like, oh no, like, is this gonna smell really, really, like, rose old woman-y? But this smells like the Guerlain perfumes. I can't, ex I can't think exactly which one. The Agua Allegoria Guerlain perfumes is exactly what it smells like. I think the Mandarin Basic, Basilic, I think it is. I can't, I don't know, but anyway, it smells like perfume. It doesn't smell like fresh cut flowers and stuff. I am not into that, but this just smells like a Guerlain perfume. The Guerlain Agua Allegoria line of perfumes. It's beautiful. He knows I like candles. Then, this is so cute, that he obviously knows I love my stickers and I love planning. I still have my planner. My um, Law of Attraction planner is just on the floor. I've been sorting out a lot of that. But he went on to Amazon. I believe he said these were Amazon. And he got me this huge pack of month what's it, monthly and weekly planner stickers. And it's literally, there's so many in here. Like, honestly, like the summer ones, winter beauty he just it's so thoughtful like this is literally just one of those things where i opened it and i was like what like <laughs> you know me so well then oh i forgot because it's back here uh he ended up getting me a couple of pieces of jewelry that i did ask for so this is one of them it's gonna be harder to show you so i'll do some close-ups of the smaller things this is just a little star uh star little bracelet silver bracelet it was from Aurelia jewelry and I just really like it and I usually wear it with this bracelet and then he also got me this other piece from Aurelia that I asked for but it's just yeah it's just a t-bar t-bar bracelet silver bracelet but yeah again I thought it just they were really beautiful and I'm gonna wear this with this along with my Tiffany's which I always wear um, and I just really liked the stack of them so yeah, ended up getting those two. And then also, I just really wanted a nice little jewelry box for travel, but also to keep my like very nice pieces in. I do have a big jewelry box over there. And I found this brand, which I fell in love with. This is called Stackers, or yeah, Stackers, I think it is. And it is just amazing, amazing quality. And you just open it up and it just says Stackers on there beautiful velvet lining and it's got these little spaces for your jewelry so i just thought this would be a i just really wanted a nice little one i didn't really notice i went on their website and i seen that they actually have like the huge boxes as well they're quite expensive i think the big boxes are like going on for a hundred pounds but they are so beautiful i think it'd be really nice to have a little mini one for travel and then have like a bigger one because i do have a lot of nice jewelry jewelry is my thing jewelry is my realm it's just i know what i'm looking at i know quality i know silver i know gold i know gemstones i know the difference between all of them so jewelry is my what did i say almost my niche as a thing it's just what my eye i'm a magpie i know a good piece of jewelry when i see one then i must admit this is a beautiful box to open up on your birthday when you see the gucci logo i could definitely get used to that and it is the Gucci Guilty. I have never tried this perfume before. I must admit, Gucci's not a brand I delved into too much with fragrances, uh, but I'm obsessed with the bottle for starters. It's really, really stunning. And I love these little rollerball sprayers. They're just perfect for your purse. And also I go over Andy's a lot, so I like travel size perfumes. So this is what it looks like. It is so, so beautiful. And the smell, oh my goodness. It is money. It smells like money. I love it a lot. So he did very well. And I think he's starting to, um, he's 
starting to understand my palette, which is very good. Apparently he said he watched loads of YouTube videos, bless him, of just random YouTubers talking about different new perfumes and the smells and everything like that. So thank you to whoever that YouTuber was that recommended that for him. <laughs> then I believe we are down to my final item and it is a little blue bag, which we all love the sight to see. Fair to say when I opened this, when this was wrapped, I literally thought it was a Pandora bag. I didn't think twice. I hadn't asked like for that for my birthday and I opened it up and it was a little blue box with a white ribbon and I literally at this point was like I wish someone was filming my, rea my reaction I was like I just wasn't expecting it I know how expensive Tiffany is they are one of my favorite jewelry brands but I don't know if you guys know but I always used to wear the Tiffany heart little heart earrings the ones that look exactly like my bracelet um like this but the individual ones I got those for my 16th birthday and I lost one the other week and I've had it so long. I've had, I've gone through two pairs of those. The first pair I had got, had got stolen and the second pair then I was bought again by my parents and uh, I've had them all this time and one has just magically gone missing. I always tend to usually find it, but this one time I just haven't found it, still haven't found it and I got really, really obviously, I'm, I was upset, but I was also like, you know, I, it, <sighs> Anyway, I can't explain it. It was it was horrible. I don't like talking about it because they're very sentimental to me. But what can you do? It's gone. I was I woke up one morning. It was gone from my ear, and I checked the bed. I checked absolutely every crevice in my place, Andy's place, the road. I even literally looked out on the road, uh, and nothing. So I'm still hoping it will magically turn up. But it's an earring that big. You know, it's most likely gone. Anyway, he knew I was how much I love Tiffany's and. He'd said he didn't want to buy those because he knew that they would be a replacement and he knows how much I love them. So instead he thought he would choose something that he thought I would like. And he picked out this necklace right here. I will do a close up for you guys, of course, to show you. But this is the Tiffany's, please return to Tiffany & Co. Uh, heart with silver key. And it is stunning the thing is is that if you guys have known i do have the exact same necklace but without the key on it that i got given from that was from my 18th birthday i think yeah my 18th birthday uh, basically every tiffany i've ever had was like a milestone my 16th my 18th and my 21st was the bracelet so uh, it was all that the thing is i am so torn because andy was like no that's like he's like oh gosh no i didn't realize like let's just go to tiffany's and you can exchange it and choose something you want so we're going to be traveling to birmingham at some point soon the shops open on the 15th which is next week uh so we're gonna make a trip to birmingham just to go to the tiffany store there and just have a look because he said you know just exchange it for something that you want like he didn't realize i had something so similar but part of me is really now just like i love of this though it's like a key to his heart it's like a cute little thing you know but then at the same time like does it make my other one redundant and is that a waste I need your guys help what do you think because I love the fact that he chose this and that is what's kind of the most important thing to me but at the same time if we can make a trip together and he can help me pick out something else that could be a bit different I don't know I might not like anything else but let me know your thoughts because I'm really torn so guys I think that was everything that I got for my birthday oh I've got to say Henry and Callum got me loads of biscuits they got me chocolate hobnobs party rings which I have no idea where those party rings have gone actually and some other biscuit I think and then they also Henry got me Kinder Bueno ice creams never knew they existed still haven't tried them they're in the downstairs freezer but I needed to get that and he got me a bottle of Prosecco as well so cheers Henry and Callum and yeah guys that is it from me today I hope you have enjoyed my birthday haul and I do hope you can stick around and subscribe of course my Instagram is over here I would love if you could go follow me over there for daily stories updates posts everything's always positive I like to keep everything upbeat and positive so every day get your little daily dose of me <laughs> that I'd like to think would make you smile so yes thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video remember to stay beautiful ciao